Hello everyone, I'm Arkif and we're making a video on difference between wireless sensor networks and wireless ad hoc networks. So, when you discuss about wireless sensor networks, they have three important key components. One is the sensing component that uh, senses uh, parameters like temperature, pressure and chemical composition. Uh, so, this is the sensing part. Then comes the communicating part. Uh, so in communicating part we have all these sensors deployed over the area of interest and uh, when they are deployed they communicate with one, one another they collaborate with one another that that is how they form the network then comes the processing part each and every node has these small microcontrollers they are of the size of 8 bit or 16 bit so this is how we have all these three components tied together in this wireless sensor network. When it comes to wireless ad hoc networks, we uh, may have the communicating part, that they communicate with one another. We have the uh, processing part, just like the processors in our laptop or PDAs, but there is no sensing part. Then comes the size. The size of the wireless sensor networks, uh, the nodes have the size as small as a grain of sand all the way up to the size of a shoebox. Uh, then when you look at wireless ad hoc networks there are uh, the sizes or of the dim dimensions of uh, PDAs and laptops. Uh, then comes the power capacity. In wireless sensor networks we have limited and small power capacity, small batteries uh, embedded into these sensing devices. Uh, in, uh, in wireless ad hoc networks we have these large batteries so the uh, when you compare these two sizes of that of WSN or wireless sensor network and that of WANET or wireless ad hoc network uh, the size of the wireless ad hoc networks is bigger and then comes the cost uh, the nodes or the modes or the sensing devices in w WSN or wireless sensor network they are uh, cheaper when compared to wireless ad hoc networks where we have laptops and uh, PDAs sold at higher prices. Now density and redundancy. The density of these nodes is high. For example we want to deploy these uh, hundreds and thousands of sensors in some forest uh, to measure various parameters. Uh, so uh, they will form this network so in a way the density is large we won't have the same number of uh, wireless ad hoc networks in the same area with the same density so uh, that's the density density part then comes the redundancy part in the redundancy in uh, wireless sensor network is higher when compared to the re redundancy in uh, ad hoc networks uh, wireless sensor networks can deal with harsh uh, environment like we can put them uh, in sea we can put them in uh, hot areas we can put them in some harsh environments but same is not the case with uh, uh, wireless ad hoc networks they can they can't withstand such environment uh, then what it comes to the at attending the nodes in wireless sensor networks we have these unattended nodes and what do we mean by that for example we want to deploy our sensors in a, a enemy land or in battlefield where it is too risky to go we deploy it with helicopter or chopper or airplane uh, so we deploy them and their batteries they are prolonged they are designed for a prolonged lifetime uh, either through uh, uh, the routing protocols that w which are designed with the intention of uh, increasing the lifetime of these wireless sensor networks or the or either the one who m manufactures the batteries he comes up with some chemical or something uh, to prolong the lifetime so once we deploy these uh, wireless sensor network into these harsh areas battlefields or war zones or enemy lands or forests or in the sea uh, we d deploy it for once but we can't go again and replace the batteries whereas in 
wireless ad hoc networks we can replace the batteries quite easily so the range of wireless sensor network is small it's 3 to 30 meters uh, while, while as in the wireless uh, ad hoc networks it's 10 to 500 meters so resources and data uh, movement in wireless sensor network and wireless ad hoc networks when you have a look at the resources in wireless sensor networks they are small and limited uh, when compared to uh, the memory size of the wireless ad hoc network and the processing power of wireless ad hoc networks we are quite aware of this we have these rams in gigabytes and the memory in terabytes uh, that's in, in our wireless ad hoc networks but same is not the case with wireless sensor networks they each and everything is limited then comes the uh, data moment part so when these wireless sensor network is deployed these sensors small de devices and sensors are deployed in some area they collaborate with one another so information moves all the way from these sensors to the gateway so we have these huge or a lot of devices communicating with the gateway so information is coming from these thousands of sensors to the gateway while as in the wireless ad hoc network or the kind of networks that we uh, usually deal with in our day-to-day -day life we have something like a broadcast where the information comes to the router and from the router it's broadcasted as in the uh, broadcast address uh, where we have this destination address uh, having the IP address of 255.255.255.255 so that's how this uh, difference uh, is quite evident in both wireless sensor network and wireless ad hoc network so that was all Thanks for watching and have a nice day.